Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, uh, what is running feet and what is square feet and what is cubic feet. So running feet means uh, in civil calculations we will be coming across uh, uh, these words very frequently. The running feet, square feet and the cubic feet. So first coming to the running feet. What is running feet in civil calculations? If we have to measure something from one point to another point, like take for example this room, I want the distance from this point to the this point. So one end of the room to the other end of the room. If I take a tape, a measurement tape, and if I calculate from this place to this place, so the uh, number that appears on the tape, uh, for example like 10 feet, so this 10 feet is the running feet. That means from one place to the other place, if I am measuring with a tape and I am calculating the distance, I am measuring the distance from one place to the another place. That is called as a running feet. Do you understand? Uh, for one room, if we have to take a distance from one point to the another point, then we will calculate it in running feet. Okay. So running feet, for example, in this uh, above example is 10 feet. And coming to the square feet, what is a square feet? Square feet means it is the area of the room. If we have to calculate the area of something, area means length into breadth. So area is nothing but length into breadth. Like if, uh, length is 10 feet and breadth is 10 feet. If it is in a room, if I have to multiply with 10 into 10, that means 10 feet into 10 feet, that is 100 square feet. So this is called the uh, uh, SFT. So the area is measured in square feet. Area we cannot measure in running feet. Running feet is the distance from one point to the other point. That is called as running feet. Whereas square feet means if someone asks us to calculate the area of a room or area of something, area is nothing but length into breadth. So it is L into B. So length into breadth, if we do, then we will get the area. Right. So for example, in the given example, like uh, the length of this room from one point to another point is 10 feet and the uh, breadth of this room is 10 feet. So I am multiplying 10 feet into 10 feet, then I will get 100 square feet. So this is called as uh, the area of the room. So the area we will calculate in square feet. The distance from one place to another place we will calculate in a running feet. And coming to the cubic feet, the volume of a uh, given uh, thing uh, we will calculate it in uh, cubic feet see we cannot calculate area in cubic feet so if someone asks you to calculate the area of a room then you need to do length into breadth so length into breadth if you do that is nothing but uh, area of the room then if someone asks you to calculate the volume of the room there, there cannot be a volume of the room it can be volume of the air but it cannot be the volume of the room so in civil examples, like if we have to calculate the volume of sand, for example, we have received some quantity of sand in a truck, in a lorry or uh, in a tractor, then we have to calculate the volume. Volume we will be calculating uh, in a cubic feet. I hope you are following this. Uh, the volume of something like volume of wood or volume of sand, volume of uh, 20 mm metal, so these are volumes. The volumes we will calculate it in cubic feet. Volume cannot be calculated in running feet. Volume cannot be calculated in square feet. Volume can be calculated only in cubic feet. For example, uh, I am taking uh, an example of a small uh, Tata S kind of uh, uh, vehicle, uh, which generally is like you know 66 feet in length and 4 feet in width and the height of the body where the sand is stored that is will be about a two feet so i am calculating the volume of the sand that can be present in this thing so the formula for volume is length into breadth into height height this is two feet so the length here is six feet the breadth here is four feet 
and the height here is a 2 feet so if i am multiplying 6 feet into 4 feet into 2 feet length into breadth into height 6 times 4 is 24 24 times 2 is 48 so we will get 48 cft cft is nothing but cubic feet so volume will be calculated only in cubic feet volume cannot be calculated in square feet volume cannot be calculated in running feet volume can be calculated only in a cubic feet so uh, to take the example if we can we can calculate uh, wood also in cubic feet we can calculate uh, uh, the sand in cubic feet we can calculate the metal the volume if we have to take we can calculate it in uh, cubic feet the volume of the er excavation work like if the earthwork is going on if you have to calculate it in cubic feet or in cubic meters that is nothing but a volume so in cft is nothing but a uh, cubic feet that is the volume of something so length into breadth into height will give you the uh, volume of something so uh, in this example like uh, uh, in the if a, a regular tata s vehicle which carries sand or 20 mm metal in small quantities if we are calculating the volume of it we will cal we need to calculate the length of uh, the vehicle le length of the loading uh, uh, part of the vehicle that is 6 feet the width and the height where the sand is stored so 6 feet into 4 feet into 2 feet so that gives us a 48 cubic feet so i uh, hope you understand the uh, difference between the running feet square feet and cubic feet if you have any doubts on this uh, please comment below i will try to clarify it more and in the coming videos we will be uh, uh, learning more about the civil engineering calculations and uh, floor plans also uh, please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and please uh, uh, like the uh, uh, channel thank you so much